greeting guys so in this tutorial we will be seeing an annotation tool any labeling so any labeling is a powerful tool that supports a wide range of annotation tasks including object detection segmentation and more so it is designed to be user friendly and efficient making it an excellent choice for both beginners and experienced annotators so let's get into it In this walkthrough, I will be guiding you through the process of installation and setup for any labeling and how to launch any labeling in your local machine and importing data and start annotating by your hand for first time and then see also different options which are available in the tool to facilitate the annotation, how to import custom models to auto annotate and finally we will see so how we can open already annotated data as image and its JSON in any labeling. So now we will be seeing how to install the any labeling uh, tool in our machine and also how to launch it and then how we can import the data and just start work with it. Okay. So let me create a new environment here for the any labeling uh, library. Let me proceed. Yeah. So it's just started to install my virtual environment. Okay. So once it's done, uh, we can just uh, activate the environment, uh, just any labeling. So uh, from here, we can easily start any labeling. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense because I haven't installed any labeling. Uh, let's just do pip install uh, any labeling. Okay. Okay. Let me copy paste yeah okay i just uh, copy pasted the uh, extra text let me write it pip install any labeling let's run it so it just started to download the package Okay, it's done now. So let's launch any labeling. Okay. For to do that, just type any labeling and just run it. Okay, it's just saying like some module is missing. Uh, so I think we have to install this module for to run any labeling. So let me do pip install and copy paste the name of the module that is missing in our environment. Okay, it's done now. So let's uh, relaunch the any labeling by just typing any labeling in the terminal. So it will open the initial navigation uh, screen, okay, the setup screen. So from here, like we have a set of options which are visible, like uh, photo, like import the yeah data from the directory that we need so let's see how we can just um, annotate the data set for the detection purpose i mean object detection task so let me open the sample data set that i have already downloaded so these are the sample images so now we're gonna use the bounding box annotation so for that we can just in the left side you can see start drawing rectangles so you can use this one to annotate each images so um, we go to the simple image and let me select here if you see i've added the bounding box and here i'll put ball now here i have added the bounding box and added bird now here i have added boundary bo box for dog and same goes here this one is person so for to adjust this because if you see like yeah you can adjust this like this a 
at the point here you can just adjust the width of the bounding box to cover the complete object and for example here car and okay and person so yeah here we can also do like for tie let me adjust it with the pencil icon and here tablet so yeah so in this way we can just start annotating the images for the object detection task using uh, any labeling and also we can use uh, like yolo based model here um, for to annotate automatically for example i would choose like um, yolo 8m model and let me run against these like image so we have if you see like um, earlier we have only annotated only two uh, instances but now yeah it just try to just give bounding box for all the objects that it detects in the image yeah so in this way we can just so easily annotate uh, images for the object detection task using any labeling click on the folder icon here uh, so it will automatically open the um, find a window and let's just choose the directory where you have your images to annotate okay so here we have like sample images so i have put up like 10 sample images in the directory uh, so for to walk through this tutorial so let's just select the polygon um, shape from the left side and then start to annotate so first of all we will be try to annotate this ball in this image yeah it works in this way and try to type the name of the class i mean the instance i mean the class name of the instance as ball and yeah just explore uh, these are few other images in our directory so we aren't gonna like um, annotate all these images uh, for the sake of simplicity I, we will be just seeing a few images to annotate and then um, what i gonna do is i will just uh, use yolo based model um, to just uh, auto annotate um, easily and then i will import the json here to show you like how it just worked and from there we can just adjust the annotation as well so let me annotate another image yeah from here you can select the class name if it exists already it will show up as we have already annotated another i mean another instant as ball earlier so it shows up yeah, so it's done now so if you want to edit so from the left side you can select the pencil icon and then uh, you can uh, just try to uh, adjust the adjust the shape okay so you can zoom in like uh, as you want uh, to just see the instance in a better way and then annotate which is important as well for the model to understand uh, your object uh, in a pixel level so you can edit your class name as well okay once it's done okay as i show like uh, you can click uh, in the object window and then edit and you can uh, from here you can modify the name of the class like here i just it's already ball okay so i just change it to caps yeah so it's done now you can ha have like set of um, annotation tool like like rectangle shape annotation or like for the detection task you will be just using the bounding box and you have the line shape annotations and everything so here um, if you see you can also use the custom models okay um, the brine icon that you see in the left side panel if you 
click there you will be seeing this window like with set of four models which are available here i have selected the sam model and it's just getting downloaded uh, yeah it's done and yeah we can select um, direct here from and there you can just select the image that you want to segment like if you see here here the image have got like auto segmented using the model sam it's working like really in a great way so just uh, name the class of this instance as person so here as well uh, let's choose this the i mean the region of interest with the bounding box for some some will just auto annotate this let me retry it so if you see here it just segmented the objects automatically and as for my experience i have just uh, tried to just uh, do uh, two or three images in the i mean parallelly and then assign the class uh, it works well if you select like like more than like two images to annotate in the same time uh, sometimes mm, it just like try to segment uh, the region which aren't uh, or of our scope or like we are interested in so it's also like a uh, okay to just annotate each instance one by one so when we try with each instance one by one yeah it works like really good and we can assign the class by just clicking on finish object we can also adjust the segment if we are not okay with the with the one that that was came from the sam prediction like here if you see we can adjust it with as i show showed earlier we can just uh, click on the pencil icon I mean the crayon in the left side and yeah we can try to adjust it So this is so simple way like we can just segment any objects using uh, sam it works for like most of the objects like if you are working with some like really uh, unique use, case, use cases uh, for instance segmentation it may not work properly for your use case So let me choose another uh, model from any labeling uh, like YOLO V8, the medium model. So it's downloaded and once you just click on run in the right side of the model, you see like here it just auto annotated everything. Uh, the, so this model is uh, meant for like um, a detection purpose. So it just added the bounding box to the instance i mean to all the classes so if you see in the object panel you can have like different um, like different um, classes that we see in the image so if you want to just convert your yolo prediction directly to the json and then you can open these annotation directly in the any labeling uh, you can make use of the package that i have open sourced recently uh, what it will do is it will take your um, the model that you want to uh, use okay for example and then uh, it will take the image path and uh, with its confidence score uh, that you want to predict and it will directly convert your data i mean your images to the corresponding json with the annotations okay and then you can import these annotations directly um, 
to the any labeling for to just visualize and then to do to do modify or like to test uh, the model in a general way okay um, so yeah so this is the open source library that i have released uh, recently uh, if you want to make a tutorial on this topic uh, to just cover in the end how you can make use of this library more efficiently for your i mean your annotation projects or your computer vision projects please let me know uh, in the comment section try to do a tutorial on it yeah so i have already ran the uh, euro segment to label me uh, on my data that i have showed earlier and yeah now we're gonna open this directly into the any labeling tool to see like uh, how the euro model performed on our uh, image data set so as we did like we have created the json using the um, yolo segment uh, to label me json so with this um, library we can just convert the yellow protection directly to the json and yeah we have saved this json directory and images in a directory and we have like imported it here in the any labeling if you see so these are the results that we get from our um, yolo based segmentation model so these are few examples that was auto-annotated uh, auto by the YOLO model. Yeah, we can um, try to like um, edit it as well as per our need. So hope you found this helpful on your annotation journey. Feel free to share any questions or feedback in the comment section below. And also let me know which topics you would like to be covered in the upcoming videos. Until then, this is Sabonia signing off. See you all in our next video. Thanks for watching.